All right, guys. This is my wife's Kia Soul 2010. At this point, it's 13 years old. It's very clean, just like my other vehicle, Frank. Everything that I buy for it is like Kia batteries, air filters, everything is original or OEM replacements. But right now, we have on this car a slight hesitation on acceleration. So it could be a dirty air filter. It could be like a mass airflow sensor, something like that. Could be a PCV valve. Uh, could be a lot of different things. It's not burning oil. It's got, I think it's got about 2,000 miles on this oil change. And if you look right there in the light, it's just still an eighth of an inch above, or no, a sixteenth of an inch above full, sorry. So let's just start with the basics and go from there. All right, my friends. So the first thing we're going to have to take off is the air filter. And I think I showed you that there are just two clips. One down there, right, and then one on this side down over here, and then there's two little feet right the, can you see right there where my finger is, behind the dipstick there's two little feet and it just lifts off. So air filter, it just pops off. And I'm going to have a look at the air filter. I, I think we need a new one. It might not look like it. There we go. Now, from this side, it looks clean, right? There's the air filter. Well, let's get the actual air filter out and check the side that it sucks up from. Wow. Oh, you know, it's getting dirty. I'm going to put it back in, start the car up, see if I can uh, get it to hesitate while it's idling, and then we'll take that filter out again, which will be like replacing it. Good. So this should be an interesting thing. Uh, I'm just going to start the truck or car up now, and we'll come back. All right. It's it does. It's idling a little rough for me. So I'm going to take the air filter out. There's quite a few bugs and dirt in there. Look at that. Eww. So anyway, I'm going to turn on my air and we're going to blow this out. And we'll just see if we can blow it out from the back first. Like, this is the clean side, that's the dirty side. Quite dirty, actually. in a minute here. Right. 
wonder if I got anything up from underneath there. A little bit. I use air like a broom, man. Eh? Okay. I'm going to leave this out. And we're just going to clamp this back down again. Probably get some kind of an engine alarm because it's not in there. But it's a 13 year old car. It just needs a little bit of love. So right now it has no air filter at all. There. I want to see if it, if it idles any better. I'll be right back. It's hard for you guys to tell. So, it's idling about 100 RPM less. Isn't that interesting? So I guess the next thing to do is I want to check the, if there's a throttle body in here. Yeah, there probably is. Because there's the uh, uh, gas pedal cable there, eh? There's a little more technology than when I was a kid. So do I take this tube off and have a look in there? Maybe I should, huh? I'm not sure whether to take it off here or take it off here. But we have a clamp in the way there. Alright, here we are. And the next thing we got to do is open the tube for the throttle body and so naturally it's like it's like kind of like a carburetor comes off the air filter through this tube here and you undo that bolt right there and it's either a 10 millimeter or you can use a, a GIS Phillips screwdriver you just undo this right and pull it off this way now the only thing holding you back is all this is here is this tube right there uh, just undo the undo the hose clamp right there or there. This side's probably better because you've got a, just a, a bracket to hold a wire. And then you just pull this off. You pull the tube off the air intake, and you can get into that end from this end, and you can uh, you, you can wipe the carbon off the uh, throttle body. So just to give you a little bit of a reference to where we are here. Thanks a lot. Okay, I've got the intake or the outtake from the air filter and I've got this clamp loosened and we're going to take this off here. And there's the uh, throttle body right in there. I'm going to see if I get any carbon on my finger at all. Yes. Okay, I'm going to get a nice clean rag with some carb cleaner and just wipe that out. Super, super interesting. Okay, you know me and carb cleaner. I'd dip the whole car in it if I could. Be right back, guys. i got to show you this again. Okay, I don't know if I got it, so I'll just redo it. I've got, I've got a stick on the gas pedal. Whoop! Stick on the gas pedal held up with the seat and there is the throttle body to turn you upside down so you can get in there right there you see the throttle body is open and I'm gonna just go get a cotton uh, rag not a shop towel because I don't want any I don't want any uh, remnants of the shop towel to get in there. So now I can't remember. I can't forget that I've got these two tools sitting here when I'm all done, right? So uh, let's just put this flashlight there. We'll get the other flashlight. Man, these rechargeable flashlights have changed changed the way we operate, eh? Let's see if I can get this one shooting straight into that throttle body. Yeah, pretty good, eh? Now I'm gonna just go slow here. Because there are, <laughs> there's these on here, right? I gotta make sure there's none of those gonna get into that beautiful, wonderful throttle body. Now, this just happened to this car when my wife drove to the airport about an hour and a half away. 
So we're wondering, we might even have gotten some bad fuel from the gas station. But anyway, let's just, now, the thro don't forget right now, the throttle is open. So we're going to wipe inside here, all the way around. Now I don't consider that real bad. I'm going to do a couple more wipes. And this could be an accumulative effect with the air filter to the throttle body to the map air sensor. Alright, so, okay, here we go. I'm going to get funky now. The back side of the, of the, Oh, that was pretty bad, eh? We're going to keep going. This isn't magnetizing to anything good. Brake booster. There we go, baby. Gotta be so careful. This isn't a lawnmower. Let's get another rag. I said to my dear wife this morning, I said, Do you mind if I go work on your car for a little while? She loves it when I do this kind of stuff. Getting the rags coming out a little cleaner each time. I'm gonna go right on top of the throttle body butterfly now. If I can. I know what we can do. I'm just gonna use an old-fashioned toothbrush. Not not for the brush part, just for the reach. Getting better. I can feel the coolness through the glove from the evaporating throttle body spray. I'm going to try my left hand now because it's a little more dexterous. And I'll go wash my hands after. I got to be careful. I don't want to break anything. Okay, one more last wipe of that. Butterfly. Still getting stuff. But I think that's just about enough for this old guy to... Yeah, it looks cleaner. Oh, I don't want to lose any parts of this glove in there either, eh? So let's uh, let's do a wipe underneath, and then we're good. Good. I think that's that's much better. Now I'm going to take that stick off, put the seat back. Good. All right. The next thing we're going to take off is the uh, PCV valve. And all you need to do, I'll just uh, just hold on. Be right back. Okay, here we're going to take off the PCV valve. It's right here. And if you look carefully, there's a there's a hose clamp right there. And you just grab onto that with a pair of pliers. Oops. And move it back like that. And then take it, I think it's a 21 millimeter socket. Stick it, whoop, 
Stick it in like that and turn it out. Very simple. I've got beautiful uh, hose clamp pliers. So which one should I use on here? Not those. I've got three sizes. This is the PCV valve right here. And I think it's a 21 millimeter, if I'm not mistaken. 21 silly meters. Perfect. I don't know if you can clean these or not, but on the old days, you could uh, take them out and, and rattle them to see if they clicked. I'm going to get a different 21 millimeter. My 3 8 adapters only go up to 19. Spray it and then soak it in fuel. I'll be right back. All right, guys. <laughs> I've got the PCV valve here. I've cleaned it, and now I should be able to blow one way and not the other. It's like a check valve. Now it was doing that before, but it's no longer full of crud. I'm going to put it back in. Thank you. Now, the reason why I didn't buy one of these is because everything's closed today. Now my old cars used to burn so much oil that you'd have to change the PCV valve about every every six months. That's back when I had no money. Or brains. I don't know if I have any more brains now or not. There we are. From my research, this is the map center, not this. This looks almost like a throttle position sensor. Because it's right behind the throttle body, eh? All right, so now our next job is to remove the map sensor. And that is, see if I can stand this up somehow. Maybe, oh yeah, that works. That's this guy right here. And it pulls straight out, but you have to disconnect the wire just very, very simply by pushing down on that and pulling the connector out and then getting a 10 mil or uh, Phillips, uh, Japanese Phillips on there. And if you really look closely, you'll see that they've painted a, they've painted a line on that bolt so that the factory knows that you've been in there. <laughs> Clever buggers, eh? So that's the map sensor. So you take that bolt out and it just pulls straight back. So that's how to, that's the map sensor. Thanks. So I'm going to take this off. Yes, I'm going to take it off and just have a look. Oh, and it's also marked. So that's a 10 millimeter. I'm going to get a 10 millimeter, a 3 8 10 millimeter. I love this six inch extension. Okay, let's go slow, guys. Take off the wire. Get a light right on it. There it is. Go slow, Bruce. Okay. Not much metal around here to, or I, uh, ferrous material to stick my mag, my magnetic light.
that right there. I'm nervous because I haven't done this for a long time. I mean, like work on my own cars. I work on a lot more. It's coming. I'm nervous about it, but it's coming. There it is. Wow. There isn't much there. Look at this. It's just a nice dry little cavity down there. So I am going to spray this with card. Oh, there it is. There's a little tiny wire. If you can see, are we watching? Let's make sure you're on. Yes, there's a little tiny wire right there, man. I'm going to clean that carefully. Just, just going to throw a little curb spray on there, guys. That's all. All right, I got a super clean cloth here. I'm just going to touch it with, I'm going to touch this with uh, a clean cloth before I even spray anything on there. Right there is the, is the face. Yes, it's a little bit dirty, eh? Not bad, though. See that? So now, this is the scary part. I don't know if I should be doing this or not. But in front of you guys, I'm just going to spray the tip of that. Wipe it off. Good. I'm going to put a little tiny bit of clean gas on it. I don't know if I'm going too far here now, guys, or not. I'm going to just lightly blow some air on there to evaporate the fuel. Like we're talking this little bit, eh? Good. Okay, I'm going to push... Oh, I'm going to wipe out the hole with my same little... So I got a bit of dirt off there, eh? Is that going to make a difference? Come on, you mechanics. Jump in there. Tell me I'm out of my mind. Oh, yeah. And we'll put this back in. Good. And I'll just put that screw back in there. my lights out of here and I need that Phillips JIS screwdriver <clears throat> okay have I done as much damage as I can possibly do I'm going to replace that uh, PCV valve so I cleaned the throttle body seal. I got some carbon on that. I got some carbon off the, the, the butterfly valve itself. I cleaned the air filter and uh, I didn't clean this but this just feels like an open tube to the uh, air intake. I'm going to have a look at that now. Are you guys seeing where I'm looking? You don't know where I've been looking. Oh no. So a little bit further down, right in here. Right here. I have not taken that apart yet. Fire uh, clamp. Clamp! Stop! Just trying to keep the tools out of the engine bay. Just like that. Okay, so somewhere around here is my red handled <laughs> red handled pliers right there, and then my pipe hose clamps. 
All right, I found them. I actually put them back in the drawer where they came from. Isn't that bizarre? So I'm taking this clamp off of here now. I think that's just a tube. Yep. Okay. So is that. So that just draws air from the engine a little bit, eh? We can put that back together right now. Okay, I think I'm ready to put my uh, little car back together again. And if it runs okay, I'm still going to change that PCB valve. So I cleaned up the map sensor. I cleaned the throttle body and the dirt around the ring. I cleaned my air filter, which will get replaced when I buy the, the uh, PCB valve. So we're there. Just to make sure we got no tools in here. And let's put this connector back together. Sometimes I get in the way, and I apologize. I apologize. I'm sorry I apologize so much, right? Good. Okay, I'm just going to tighten that up. And I'll take it for a little test torture when I'm all done here. Alright, so I just tightened up that the, the hose that goes from the throttle body to the air filter. I put the tube back on from just from this engine vent, I guess is all it is. I want to make sure that's where it was, eh? Yeah, I think it was just right there. Just keeps it out of the throttle cables, eh? Good. And we're back together again, except for the air filter. And we're going to go for a little ride. That was a successful, I hope, successful little run. I'm checking the air filter that I blew the dust out of. I can see air through it. So it shouldn't be that restrictive. A machine. Got to be so careful not to break anything, eh? I'm in the way there. There we go. And just for your information, right there, let's get a light on it. Air filter. Can I put that like that? Yes, I can. So you see there's the air filter there. And then there's the other clamp there. And the other two are actual physical locks on this side, right there. So we're back together again. Let's just get all our tools out of the way. So it should run at least the same or better than it did, right? Oh yeah. And while I'm doing this, my wife is out of windshield squirts. 
And I use this winter and summer. And if not, oh, she was low. Okay, let's just do a fluid check. Power steering is good. Brake fluid is up above, is between the pull and the add. Antifreeze is on the low right now. That's fine. All right. First, I'm going to start it up for you. If you're still watching, we'll just make sure that. Good. Let's fire it up. coming down faster than last time. So thanks for watching. I'll be back in a few minutes. You won't even see me gone. Successful. Thanks, guys.